Welcome to my video, How to Study to Learn Math. My name is Jerry Tuttle. I am a adjunct math instructor at Rocky Mountain College of Art and Design. Uh, I'm also a retired insurance company actuary, which is a mathematician in the insurance business. I have a master's degree in mathematics, which I earned uh, shortly after receiving my bachelor's degree. Uh, and quite recently, I went back to school and earned a second master's degree in data analysis. So I am both a math teacher and a recent math student, and hopefully that will be helpful in as I share my ideas on how to study and learn math. So let me try and share my screen. Uh, hopefully nothing will be as, as uh, complicated as uh, these math expressions uh, in front of you. So let's start with reading a math textbook. Reading a math textbook is very different than reading textbooks and other subjects. Uh, in most other subjects, you try to get a general understanding uh, of the content of the textbook. Uh, in math, uh, it's important that you, you understand uh, the very specific concepts that are in the textbook. And you do that by taking exceptionally great notes, uh, especially on definitions and examples. And my very strong advice to you is that you pay particular attention to worked out examples. Why? Because these examples are going to be very similar to your homework and test problems. So with these worked out examples, uh, again, very different than other subjects, uh, I suggest you read them with a pencil and paper in hand and perhaps a calculator and a spreadsheet. Your goal is to reproduce every line of these worked out examples yourself. Uh, when there's a calculation, do the calculation. And in doing this, you will discover that uh, authors sometimes will omit something. Uh, perhaps they skip something because they think it's obvious. Uh, it may not be so obvious to you. Uh, and also, maybe you misunderstood something. So by reproducing every line of text yourself, uh, you take care of uh, perhaps something that was overlooked or something that was misunderstood. So let's talk about uh, skipping something obvious. Uh, again, uh, my strong recommendation is that you reproduce the calculations yourself. Uh, if you just need a quick calculation, uh, the Google search field will do that. Uh, many people don't seem to know that. So for example, suppose I need the sine of 30. Uh, so I can put this in the Google search field and hit enter, and Google search is giving me uh, approximately negative one. Uh, wait a minute. That's not right. Doesn't the sine of 30 degrees equal a half? Uh, yes, it does. Uh, but calculators prefer radians, and uh, Google is, is expecting this number, this argument to be in radians. Uh, the sine of pi over 6 equals one half. So the textbook author uh, may have overlooked the fact that uh, uh, when the author calculated sine of 30, uh, he put it in as pi over 6 radians. Uh, and the author may not have told you that. So by reproducing the calculation yourself, uh, you've reminded yourself uh, that the calculator wants radians. Uh, maybe you misunderstood something. So here's the formula for standard deviation of a sample. Uh, it's s equals the square root of some terms uh, divided by an n minus 1. Uh, and the issue is, is the n minus 1 under the square root sign uh, or not? So again, reproduce the calculations yourself. Uh, if you get the author's answer, that's fine. If you didn't get the author's answer, uh, maybe it's because you misunderstood that n minus 1 part. And in fact, the, the true formula has the n minus 1 under the square root sign. Uh, another important uh, study skill is ask your teacher questions. 
don't be shy about asking your teacher questions. That's what we're paid for. Uh, we expect you to answer quest ask questions, um, but it's best to ask us specific questions. And here's a specific question. Uh, in example 3.5, I understood lines one to four, but in line five, I didn't understand why the denominator has n minus one instead of an n. Uh, if you asked a question like that, the teacher can hone in on exactly what you don't understand. In, in contrast to asking a more general question like, uh, uh, I don't understand standard deviations. Uh, also, feel free to search the internet for alternate explanations. Uh, someone has asked your same question and someone else has answered it. And maybe the answer is, uh, is clearer than uh, your teacher's answer. Here are some strategies when you're stuck on a problem. Can you solve a simpler related problem? Uh, for example, suppose your problem is about a pentagon. Um, is there a similar problem related to a square uh, that's easier to solve and that helps you answer the more complicated problem? Uh, similarly, you may have a problem about a sphere. Can you do a similar problem about a circle that helps you answer the problem you really need? Uh, would it be helpful to draw a picture or make a table? Can you guess at your answer, check, and then make a better guess? For example, what's the square root of 289? Uh, try 15, that turns out to be too low. Try 19, that turns out to be too high. Uh, make one or two more guesses and you'll likely get the right answer. Very important in math, understand the problem. It's not always as simple as it sounds. For example, are they asking for velocity or change in velocity? Uh, it sort of sounds similar, but they're very different. Uh, here is something uh, ev everyone has messed up, uh, including me, uh, one time or another. Uh, answer the question that is asked. For example, uh, Jerry is twice as old as his son and their age is add to 105. How old is Jerry? Uh, that's an algebra problem. Let x equals the son age, 2x equals Jerry's age, x plus 2x equals 105, 3x is 105, x equals 35. Uh, but are we done? Uh, no, we're not done. Uh, X is the son's age. What they asked is how old is Jerry's age? Uh, you need the answer 2X. 70 is the answer to the problem that was asked. Finally, take a breath. Uh, others have gotten through your math class. You can get through it too. Uh, it's okay to be confused. You don't have to understand everything. And guess what? Your teacher did not understand everything the first time around too. Uh, or perhaps the second. So I wish you good luck and have a good day.